<laughs> it's a simple story of a stay-at-home dad. This is Elena. You're a goofy girl. Working hard to raise his eight-month-old miracle. She loves this thing. More than anything. <laughs> She loves hanging out with dad. But it's the story of the background of how Brandon Adam got here. Good girl. That's not yeah. so simple. Didn't think I was going to be a dad until probably I was old, because I had a lot of plans for the military. If you look closely, he's yeah. tackling parenthood after losing his legs. 2007, um, we were in Baghdad. I was the gunner. It went boom, took out the right side of the vehicle. And just couldn't get out and I couldn't realize why I was getting up. My body went to shock and that was it. Um, I don't remember anything after that. He woke up in a hospital a few days later. His legs were blown off. So looked down, looked, opened up the blankets, saw that my legs were gone. He woke up determined not to let it get to him. When I signed that paperwork, when I joined at 17, I knew what I was doing. He wanted to ski again. Anything you like to do before, I guarantee most likely that there's a way for you to do it now. So he started training at LifeQuest Transitions in Colorado Springs. Military helping military, you know your mentality. They treat you like a regular person, like a regular athlete. <laughs> He decided to take up monocross. It's pretty much border cross and skier cross just with a sit ski. Essentially, extreme skiing with no legs. The smallest jump is 50 feet. He even came in second in the X Games in Aspen and now tackling a new challenge. We're trying to get it into Olympics for um, Russia, but we'll see. He says he has bad days. It really didn't hit me until I started going in a wheelchair. Is in pain a lot, but he's not bitter. The world's not built for handicapped people. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta adapt and overcome. Instead, Brandon is grateful. If I have a problem with something, that's what I just say to myself, I just adapt, you know, figure it out. Easy peasy. My left hand is working the hand controls. I'm pushing down to accelerate. Brandon has been honored for his heroism, receiving a Purple Heart, a presidential coin from President Bush. But he'll tell you his greatest accomplishment happened simply because of the explosion. I was having such issues with how am I going to get married? Who's going to? want me like this. He met his soon-to-be wife shortly after he got out of the hospital. She was the nicest person I've ever met. I think she saw that I was genuine. He vowed to stand by her side on his wedding day. So they built me legs for my wedding. Wearing his prosthetic legs for the first and only time. The reason why I wanted to wear my legs my wedding was the kiss. I just wanted to make it as much as a normal wedding for her and the first dance. People were very uh, emotional about it. I just didn't want to fall. And that was the biggest thing I was thinking, was just don't fall. At home, next to his medals, a piece of copper. And this was actually in my leg. Symbolic of so much. They may hurt me, but they didn't win. And if you ask him if he could do it all over again. Everybody asked me, would you change going in the military? No, not at all. Um, this was the way my life was supposed to turn out. I was hoping to go special forces and then take those skills and then go to, the, go to college. Life has changed completely, but now I'm just a athlete that hangs out with his daughter all day. I am doing awesome. Vita Urbonis, KRDO News Channel 13.